Hello friends, I am Lalit Vasist and you are watching my YouTube channel Engineering Made Easy. Today we are going to solve a problem based on Carson's rule. Okay, we will solve this problem and we will learn what is Carson's rule in frequency modulation and we will find the bandwidth for FM signal. Uh, here you should know that uh, Carson's rule is used to calculate the bandwidth and we will see more things about it. Uh, let's see first this problem. The problem is a 2 kilohertz audio signal modulates a 50 megahertz carrier signal. This is the frequency of the carrier signal and this is the frequency of the modulating signal, the message signal. It is in the audio form, audio signal. As we know that uh, frequency of carrier wave is always more than the frequency of the modulating signal. So you can see the difference here. And it causes, this modulation causes a frequency deviation of 2.5 kilohertz. Okay, it is a frequency modulation. 2.5 kilohertz is the frequency deviation. Now, I want to find the bandwidth of this frequency modulated signal. Here, it uh, seems a, that it is a very simple problem, but it is a little bit tricky problem because here I have been given that FM is 2 kilohertz. Okay maximum frequency present in the modulating signal is 2 kilohertz and fc frequency of the carrier is 50 megahertz and the delta f the frequency deviation is also provided here 2.5 kilohertz if i use the carson's formula to find the bandwidth okay the carson's formula the carson's rule is you see the carson's rule is given as bandwidth is equals to 2 times of delta f plus fm and here I have uh, both of these things. I have delta F, frequency deviation and FM. So you will think that I can simply put the values and get the bandwidth as the answer. But it is not so. You need to be careful here because I will tell you how. Here first you should uh, find the modulation index of the FM. For, uh, the modulation index for FM is given as delta F divided by F okay f is for frequency modulation i have delta f and i also have fm okay delta f and fm so you see what is modulation index for this fm it is let's put the values of delta f and fm 2.5 kilohertz divided by 2 kilohertz it is 1.25 this is the modulation index for fm now observe that uh, this modulation index is less than pi by 2 we know what is pi pi is 3.14 so pi by 2 is 1.57 it is the value of pi by 2 and here is the value of modulation index so this 1.25 is smaller than the value of pi by 2 1.57 if so here is the point main point how we will use this carson's rule if the modulation index is less than pi by 2, then bandwidth of the FM signal depends mainly on the frequency of the modulating signal. Okay, and it is quite independent of the frequency deviation. It means that here according to the Carson's rule, the bandwidth is as it is given as 2 times of delta F plus FM. Here, if modulation index is less than pi by 2, then it will not depend on this delta f it will not depend on this frequency deviation okay it will depend mainly on the fm so our formula to calculate will become according to this carson's rule instead of two times of delta f plus fm as two times of fm we will neglect it we will not include delta f so two times of fm it is a simple formula now two times of fm fm is uh, fm is given to us 2 into 10 to the power 3 so it is 4 kilohertz so uh, although it was a very simple problem but uh, you may have the tendency to hurry to this uh, formula and because uh, we are already given fm and delta f delta f is given here to confuse you and uh, you first need to find the mf and c whether it is less than pi by 2 or greater than pi by 2 according to that you will use this carson's rule okay so i hope you liked the concept that i wanted to tell you how we can uh, use the carson's rule okay so if you liked the video please 
click on the like button and share the video with your friends and please subscribe my channel engineering made easy for more such useful videos thank you for watching see you soon in the next video bye bye friends for more such videos you can subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can visit my blog see you soon in the next video till then bye bye